Alrighty, so today we're talking about the 10 reasons why agents love real estate. And this is coming from Inman, and Inman is a lead, I still do not know how to say that freaking name. They are, they are a leading publication for real estate. I still don't know how to, Inman. <laughs> Number one, people, why agents love real estate. Obviously written by other people instead of myself. People and their stories, that's true. Actually, you, re you meet some very interesting, very, very interesting people. You never see people the same way when you're on the subway or just in line anywhere because you just, you hear some insane stories. And then you just also understand that everyone is going through something in life and that nothing, nobody is perfect regardless of what they're putting out there. Number two, each day is something new. That is a fact. Uh, especially when it's a bomb exploding on a deal that you had complete confidence that it's gonna be closing. Number three, you never stop learning. That is true. Hopefully it's when you learn before the problem happens instead of the problem and then you learn about it. But most of the time it's the second one, which is a problem happens and then you learn, well, I guess I'm not gonna be doing that one in the future. Number four, real estate agents are a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> I get to hang out with them every day. They definitely are. Real estate agents have probably one of the biggest personalities out of all the salespeople uh, that I've met, to say the least, because they do have to literally sell themselves, the product, the service, their company, everything all the time, all day, and offer expectations, deals. Uh, so much. So yes, there's a lot of personality in real estate. A good chance to do good. Yeah, I would say, you know, this actually comes in at the end, obviously during the closing table when they shake you and the shake you, it's like shake you. No, when they shake your hand or they hug you or whatever, and they say, thank you so much, even though there is a whole lot of crap that happened during the transaction, everyone's typically happy at the closing table, except when there's ones that are not. Number six, you can let the freedom flag fly. Uh, I don't know what that means. There are laws to obey and rules to follow, but there's also plenty of room to run your business. Yeah, I actually do agree with that, is that though when I was at Holstep Property, I kind of had, was in, you know, when you're at a big company, Holstep Property, I was at Platinum Properties before, obviously out on my own is totally different. So I can do pretty much whatever I want, as long as it's, you know, ethical, legal, moral, and all that other jazz. You get to solve mysteries. Yeah, I call this solution oriented. I, you're pretty much, that's all you're doing. You're just literally just Moby Dick or was it Moby Dick? Who's the, who's the guy that was the, all right, the, the guy that, that Murder, She Wrote, Angela Lansbury, you know. Anyone see that show? No? Okay, cool. Outlet for creativity. Yes, that's true. I do have a creative side that I did not know. I do not know how to draw or design or do anything, but I have somewhat of a knack. I don't really like doing it, so I have to hire that out, but yeah, I guess so. You won't get fired or laid off. That is incorrect. I do know plenty of agents that have gotten fired, and the reason they get fired is because they did not actually perform. When I was at Halstead and Platinum Properties, and you pretty much fire yourself because you look at how much, because you don't get a bi-weekly paycheck. So if you're not making money, <laughs> you're going broke, and you can't pay for your rent, you can't pay for your living expenses, and you just say, well, I guess this isn't for me. I do love houses. Yeah, you don't have to love houses. It's, it's nice, honestly, you know, it kind of, you know, you get excited when you see a nice one, even if you don't see a nice one. I, I think, honestly, it's when someone comes in and they say, I do like this, I wanna make an offer, that's when you get excited because someone else is gonna be taking over, you know, you're tra changing possessions. You know, every house I walk into, am I in love with? No, absolutely not. For me, I love flooring and I love kitchens. Obviously, you have views and decks and outdoor space and beautiful bathrooms and everything else. I am a floor guy and I am a kitchen guy. I love those two things. Other agents love molding or art or something else. But anyway, that was all right. You know, 10 reasons. Yeah, I would say, you know, I wouldn't really add anything to that. But if you guys have any other questions you'd want to ask someone as a reaction video, we're gonna go down. Uh, it's always interesting when people start looking to buy or to sell and then they start seeing the nuances of real estate, they're like, this isn't really what it's like on TV. No, 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 no it's not. It is not like what it is on TV. On TV, that six month transaction is dwindled, dwindled down or edited down to like five or six minutes. So it's a little bit different once you start going through it with co-ops and everything else. So have an amazing day. Talk to you